Welcome back. Our first guest tonight is a talented actor you know from films such as Uncharted, Cherry, and of course is Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, in the Avengers franchise. His new non-alcoholic beer, Biro, is available now at birobrewing.com. Please welcome back to the show one of our favorites, Tom Holland, everybody. <laughs> I'm always happy uh, to have you here because, one, I get to see you, but um, you almost always have a family member or two with you. And for the first time tonight, I get to meet your parents backstage. Yes, we have up the ante. Mum and Dad are in the building tonight, yeah. yeah. I feel like your brother your brother Harry comes to a green room a few times, and then he probably said to your parents, like, it's worth it, the snacks are good. Snacks are good, <laughs> Seth is great, the vibes are fun. Yeah, they're here, yeah. Um, uh, so I want to talk about Biro. Uh, congratulations. Me. Can I grab one? I'm going to open These are cool. Do you want one, or are you all right? Yes, I would love Do you one. want the IPA? Or the noon wheat. I'm gonna have a noon wheat. Please. Okay, noon wheat. I'm Thank gonna you. have the uh, the Kingston Golden Pills. Let's go. Now Kingston, uh, did you name this? Um, is Kingston mean anything? It means a lot to me. Cheers. Okay, Kingston cheers. Hospital is where I was born. Mm. Shout out to my mum who's backstage. <laughs> Some of her best work, I'm sure. That's great. Um, <laughs> noon wheat is named after my beloved dog. Was uh, was your dog's name wheat or noon? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then Edge Hill, um, the hazy IPA, Edge Hill is a hill. OK. And on top of the hill is a school. Mm -hmm. And in that school is where I first started doing ballet. So without that school, without that teacher, I wouldn't be sat here today. So it felt like it was a good thing to put I'm on I'm so game. glad it was ballet and it wasn't. And that was the first place I had a non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> That's the first place I had a full strength beer. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. And then years later, you were like, I've yeah, got a better I idea. I have a problem. Yeah, if I yeah. were to keep moving around. <laughs> um, uh, so you actually, uh, you have every, I have a lot of questions about the process coming up with this beer, but I do have a video. Uh, you were actually delivering it around uh, New York City. Yes. Uh, let's just take a quick look. Let's make some delivery. Whenever you're ready, pal. Just on the top there, yeah. How many is it? I think it's five pallets. I thought I ordered six. I could get another one from the truck, I just... OK, that's your sixth pallet. Vero delivery, watch out, number two. I bought a dolly this time. Hey, right, how's yeah. it going? How are you doing? Yeah. Not the best to start. Ready? Yeah. It's worth its weight in gold. OK, safety landing. Right, what do we do with it now? Now, I mean, I really have a lot to say. Um, one, you, uh, you're not particularly good at it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Two, it doesn't seem like a single person recognized you. Not at all. So we were walking through Grand Central Station, and I was so insulted. <laughs> yeah. I'm Spider-Man. It's New York yeah. City. Come on. I will say, credit to New Yorkers who probably saw you and thought, it can't be going that badly for Tom Holland. That's probably yeah, what it was. It's almost, it was a credit to your talent That's that they're probably like, what look it at was. this poor guy, his whole life he's delivering beer, looks just like Tom Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Must be really, a disaster. Really, really hit rock bottom, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, you take it out, you've delivered it, but yeah. um, were you in the process, I would imagine, from the very beginning? Yeah, very much so, from the sort of conception of the idea, really. Um, it's been a really fun process for me. It's been very daunting. You know, there's no secret, I'm pretty uneducated. Okay, well, I right? don't think, yeah. That's not funny. By the way, I don't think... <laughs> by the way, I, I, I'm going to just tell you, like, I, I actually think that is a secret. I would have guessed you were educated. Oh, really? Well, yeah. it's not now. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> that, uh, yeah you made I'm... the classic uneducated mistake of telling everyone. Yeah. <laughs> really, what I should have said is ineducated. <laughs> But I would find myself in these boardrooms with all these suits, you know, CEOs, CPO, COO, CFO, attorney, lawyer, finding out that's the same job. <laughs> and then there's me there, an absolute yeah, if they made numpty. you pay for both of those, you got ripped yeah, off. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> My attorney is so good. My lawyer's even better. And, uh... 
I would sit in these meetings and I'm looking at the, the bar charts and the pie charts and I'm hearing words like coefficiency, strategize, all this sort of stuff. And they're talking about the financial strategy. And the hardest thing for me about this process is I'm a co-founder, right? Yeah. Which means that I have to approve everything. So I'll sit there and they'll go through the financial strategy. And thank God I found acting because there's no way I could do any of this sort of <laughs> yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. right? And I'm using every bit of acting chops I've got to like convince them I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so they go through the financial strategy, Q1, an injection of cash and all this kind of nonsense. And then everyone looks at me and I just am like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> do that. Uh, it would be even funnier if you just decided every third question I'm gonna say, no way. <laughs> I, I got to see a lot of holes in that part. Yeah. Q, I would do it in Q2. Or Q5. If it was me, I would go Q5? Yeah, Does anybody, Q5 is a big one. I feel like that's wide open. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. nobody's doing Q5. <laughs> Q5 is the true gap in the market. Now, obviously, uh, uh, before you stopped uh, drinking beer, you've had beer. And yes. I will say, uh, this tastes like a beer, which is sometimes, I think a lot of uh, non-alcoholic beer maybe doesn't. Uh, was that a thing? Were you tasting it and being like, great, nailed it? Yeah, I mean, it was a long process. I'd like to give credit. He's actually in the room. Mr. Grant Wood is sat right there. All right. Our legendary brewmaster. He's a brewmaster. Yeah. An actual brewmaster. He is the brewmaster. Wow, that's fantastic. And uh, yeah, it was a very fun process. It was, you know, a lot of trial and error. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I had my brothers. Don't look at him when yeah. you say error. <laughs> No, I had my brothers try it, my friends and family, everyone yeah. would come over and, and we would really try and figure out, you know, how to create something that felt like it was authentically beer. And for me, in this journey to sobriety, the thing that I've missed most is more the experience of sharing a beer yeah. than it is actually the beer itself. It's ritualistic. So some of the things that we really focused on was creating a real foam. I often find with other non-alc beers, when you pour it, you don't quite get that foam. Yeah. And then the biggest thing for me was the carbonation. I love a good fizzy beer. Yes. So for me to bring that to a product that I love has been a real joy. And I'm so excited to start sharing it with people. Well, it's fantastic. Thank you for sharing it with me. I of do course. have more questions for you. We'll be right back with more Tom after this. <laughs>